A guy came up to me recently, he said, oh, I want to be an actor, how did you get into it? And I said, well, I just kind of started when I was young. And he said, well, how did you get on TV? And I went, never mind about TV, just if you want to be an actor, just, you know, go down the back of a pub and perform something. Because that's what it is, essentially, you know. It's, there's, a lot, there's a lot of talk about acting and stuff, because I suppose it's popular culture. But, um, yeah, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm just looking to work with interesting people. There wasn't a, a clarifying moment when I thought this is what I want to be my career, but I, uh, I, I just know in my heart that I've had, you know, huge amounts of fun being an actor. And it's, it's a great profession because you, you get to travel the world and you get to explore the furthermost of, of people's varieties, you know, and, and meet so many people, I suppose is what I'm trying to say. And um, uh, yeah, I think it makes quite a strong person out of you, or else a weird person out of you. But <laughs> I admire so many actors, you know, so many. I admire new ones every day, you know, but I mean, Killian Murphy's a good one. He's, he's, he's a guy who's, 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 who's been clever enough to have a very, very um, continuing career, and he's done that, you know, by, I think, cleverly choosing projects and stuff. And that's, I suppose, what I would want to do as well. I mean, I, I, I like people like David Attenborough, you know, or, or people who can teach me stuff. I like people who teach me stuff, and they're kind of heroic because they're actually doing something that's of worth in the world. Brian Cox is, is a hero because he's, you know, he, he brings the most mystifying, uh, uh, you know, properties of the universe to us in the most kind of pleasing and wonderful way. And that's a really great thing to do. I mean, hero is quite an epic word, you know, but, but he's interesting. I just like very, very interesting people. No, no, I, I, I don't fancy myself as a heart tub. If I did, I think I'd be more of a twat. Uh, no, I think um, I'm far too concerned with trying to just do some good jobs and a lot of that requires a lot of grind and mental stress, I suppose. <laughs> so to consider myself some kind of heartthrob is much further away from what I actually consider myself. <laughs> it's very easy to get confused between being a heartthrob and being on the telly, you know, because being on the telly can get you a lot of attention from the ladies, but it's the wrong kind of attention, you know, and it's, it's, not, it's not interesting, you know. But it's, you know, it's, it's fine, you know, I think, I mean, I'm, I'm, I love that people like the job that I've done in a series or whatever, you know, because I'm quite admiring of some people in films and stuff, and, you know, I'd love to meet them in that, but, uh, you know, I would never try and shag a fan, basically, is what I'm saying. Because <laughs> it's just a weird road to go down, you know what I mean? You don't know what you're getting. They don't know what they're getting. Uh, I, I, I don't think you can shy away from something just because it has a sex scene in it. It shouldn't really, it shouldn't really you know, make or break your decision to do something because it has an explicit sex scene. You know, if anything, I mean, if the sex scene doesn't work in the, in the piece, or it's just there because it's a sex scene, well then it's wrong, you know. And there are lots of projects like that. But uh, as regards, I, I don't really mind doing sex scenes. It's not, it, the thing about a sex scene is it's the least sexy thing you'll ever do in your life. Because bear in mind, there's you and the girl or the guy or whatever, and 14 or 15 crew all around you recording your sound and recording your bits, you know what I mean, with a camera. And, and basically it's a job, you know, and, and I suppose the job is, artistically, is to make the sex scene sensual or lustful or whatever it's supposed to be, but ultimately doing the thing is altogether technical. And if you have a horn, <laughs> you should step out for a minute and think about, you know, a bus full of dead nuns and then go back and do the job. I just want to clarify, I am not a pervert, am I right? <laughs> Most of the time.